Hey, Coach. You ready for hey. it? All right. Uh, we'll get started with Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Coach. A uh, couple of questions. But first off, I wanted to start with Elliot Fry and Johnny Townsend and, and what those guys gave to you last week. They were outstanding. I mean, the fact that we had Elliot, I mean, that, that uh, Brett had the uh, – foresight to actually sign Elliot the week before and get him on a practice squad that really helped you know because when Bucker tested positive then we were able to immediately start working with Elliot uh you know he was working with Tommy at the time though and then Tommy all of a sudden he goes down later in the week and that was that was really what threw us the you know like the uh, curveball right there was having him go down so late in the week and then having to work you know getting Johnny in off the street uh you know really with one day of practice and, and getting him working with Elliot but so those guys really deserve a lot of credit for what they did. Uh, really, the guy that held the whole thing together was uh, James Winchester. I mean, he was out there being able to uh, get extra reps and, and doing all the you know, extra things as far as getting them ready for practice and telling them what we're going to do and in, in and out, all the ins and outs of what we do. And, uh, and then he was, he was a spot on with his snap, so that wasn't even a question. So James was the hero of the week, and, and then those two guys came in and they really helped themselves. I think they helped their resume that, you know, down the road, they got some great experience, great game experience. Everybody, all coaches look for game experience and, and they, they got some really good experience there. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Because I have one follow up, Brad. Um, I'm saying this in a good way. Harrison Butker is pretty intense. Just how, how devastated maybe was he to miss the game uh, and get out of his groove in a sense? And <laughs> that's to, a, to that's get a good question. I thought about that. I said, I wonder what Harrison's doing right now. I guarantee he was going nuts. This is, uh, this is so important to him. And, and you guys know, when you talk to him, it's, um, you know, it's his life and he really, uh, for him to miss it, you know, uh, it really uh, definitely, definitely hurt him. And I know that. And, and he was watching probably on the edge, edge of his seat on every kick and every kickoff. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just good to have him back. And I'm sure he's happy to be back. And then the other thing is just this is kind of like a little inside football, I guess, for for fans. But how how much do you think you might get a call about um, Fry or the Elder Townsend now sometime in the future? Yeah, I told them both. I said, this is, I mean, you guys really helped your resume. I mean, that's really what your resume is, is your tape. And, that, and they went in there and they, they had, we had six, sure, we had eight, eight field goals, literally. I mean, we had the four extra points, but they're all field goals. Uh, eight field goals and and then the, uh, you know the couple punts that we had and uh, both of them uh, you know really really did a good job in that kind of a tough situation a windy day I mean that wasn't that wasn't an easy day you know that was probably an eight on a ten scale you know I mean that wind was gusting and and for both of those guys that's our uh, you know for for special teams that's our nemesis and then those guys just they handled it great. Go next to Herbie Tiope. Go to Herbie. Hey, Coach, Happy New Year to you uh, and I hope Happy you're New well. Year. Happy New Year. As sort of a follow-up to Matt's and Pete's question on Elliot Fry and, and Johnny yeah. Townsend, you, you touched on their message, your message to them that the, the somehow, you know, you, you got the good tape and you can keep the dream alive, but how much do you anticipate keeping them on a short list with the playoffs coming up in light of how this COVID situation is developing yeah. around the country? You know, before they left on their exit interview, I told them, I said, you know, you guys are on our short list. I mean, if something happened to those guys, they would be able to be plugged right in. I mean, you know, uh, in a heartbeat, I would take those guys, either one, both of them back. I mean, it would be, uh, that's a no brainer for us, you know, cause they know our system, they, they've proven themselves. And, uh, that's what I mean. I mean, I think it's going to help them going forward, whether it's here or anywhere else, it's going to help those, those guys in their, in their future. And we'll go Matt back to Matt and Derek to close us out. Go ahead, Matt. Hey coach. I'd also wanted to ask you about, you know, with the COVID situation, the last couple of weeks, you've had to juggle the lineup a little bit. I mean, bringing up guys from the practice squad to be some four-phase guys. Um, yeah. What's it meant, you know, to be able to have some guys that you can count on? You know, you know, Fountain was one of those guys. Zane Anderson's been one of those guys. How's it been just to be able to count on some of those guys you've had to call on? Well, for me, it's been huge. I mean, those guys, uh, you know, they first of all, it starts with, you know, with Veach and his crew. I mean, getting those guys, getting good players, you know, on that practice squad. It was so important, particularly this year, you know, with that, especially what, what, what happened to us last week, with the amount of guys that we had down, we really didn't know who we were going to have up. You know, it, it was all the way up to the end of the week because we had guys coming back, coming back as the week went on and you really couldn't commit to a guy. So you really couldn't practice a guy during the week. You had to practice the guys that you knew were going to be there. So that's what we did. And then all of a sudden, you know, we found out that, uh, you know, uh, Josh, Jackson was going to be up. So he ended up playing in the game without any reps during the week. 
So a lot of credit goes to those guys, uh, him and Boodle. I mean, Boodle jumped in too. He's the same thing. He, he jumped in and got a bunch of good reps and, uh, you know, did a real good job for us. So a lot has to do with our personnel department, having good players over there that we can tap into. And, and um, you know, and, and then credit goes to the player too for being up on what we're doing as far as in meetings and, and keeping up with uh, their position and knowing what to do, you know, when, if they get called upon. So uh, overall, you know, it was a good, it was good for us to go through it and we know we can, how to handle it. And, you know, and, and a lot of credit goes to all the players and the, in the, in the personnel department. Coach Tobe, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining okay. us. Thank you.